You want to know what the best mountain biking glasses are of 2019? Check, check, check it out. Here they are. Everybody, this is Sunglass Rob from Sport RX, and I'm here with Stefan Rock, pro mountain biker, to talk about the best mountain biking glasses of 2019. If you're liking this video and our faces, hit that subscribe button so you can watch a lot more videos. All right, Stefan, I would say you're one of the best mountain bikers of 2019, which is kind of cool that Thank you're you. here to talk about the best mountain biking glasses of so 2019. Right? Yeah. yeah, this guy's really fast on a bike. Current uh, third place standing for endurance. Right now as, as of... Uh, Category pro. Category pro. Yeah. yeah. We're nice. going up to Big Bear this weekend, so uh, hopefully I can maintain that. Nice. We'll move up a spot. I think he's gonna move up, especially with some dope shades. Totally. From Sport RX. Okay, uh, anyways, we're here to talk about our favorite, what we we're considering the best options for mountain biking sunglasses for 2019. We gotta start with the Oakley Flak 2.0 XL here at Sport RX. We do a lot of RX work. This frame, by the way, this frame color is the limited edition Sport RX Oakley collaboration in matte carbon. What? It's amazing. <laughs> anyways, um, this frame works with a huge uh, amount of prescription strengths, anywhere from a minus six to a plus four. You can do so many different cool lens combinations on this. You can do prism, you can do polarized, you can do, well, you really don't want polarized for mountain biking, but you can do it if you wanted to. You can get photochromatic lenses, you can get them in progressive. There's so many options. And the thing I love about this frame, Stefan could first model it handsomely for us, is that it fits a wide range of faces. Stefan's definitely gonna be kind of more of a small to medium fit, more of a narrow head, and I have a pretty big dome, and they still fit me pretty awesome as well. So this frame fits a lot of faces, fits a lot of prescriptions, it's super comfortable. I think, Stefan, you got a couple of key things you love about this frame as yeah, well, Yeah, I mean, I, I think really where it sits on your face as far as the brow line, yeah. right into the eye socket, even though it's a small lens, you really don't get any obstruction from the frame. It's right? a lot you of coverage. A lot of full coverage. The, the lens comes down far enough over the face, um, and yet it breathes well too. You know, so absolutely great frame. Um, Love it. Yeah. Okay. So now we're going to go into a frame that's a little less RXable. You can get this embedded lens technology on it. It's not the most popular thing in the world, but it does work pretty well. Um, this is the Oakley Radar Path EV. This is with Prism Trail. The other one was with Prism Trail Torch. If you want to know the differences between the two Oakley mountain bike lenses, we have an awesome video on that as well. Um, why don't you try them on again? Absolutely. This is like that classic, super sporty, kind of race-oriented Oakley um, silhouette. You've seen it in the M-frame, you've seen it in the Radar, you've seen it in the Radar EV, and it just works. Open on the bottom, vented on top, a lot of coverage, just a great all-around frame. Unobtainium everywhere. And this one is where you're like, these are meant to be on the bike. Like these yeah. are not off the bike glasses. Absolutely not. Yeah, yeah, yeah. These are, unless you're a football coach. They're, these they're are like, like a race day. Yeah, know? these are like Definitely race day. day. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, and the, and they fast. perform that way. Yeah. There's no compromise on performance with just these. Just look how fast he's going right now. Oh, dude, just. <laughs> <laughs> okay, now we're gonna go into the last Oakley on the table, which is my personal favorite, sorry, Flack. Um, this is the Target line. It's actually designed for golf, but I think it should be designed for everything. This is a great frame. Um, it has unobtainium nose pad. It's matte where you need it. No unobtainium on the temple, but it's texturized. It's really grippy. A little tiny extra piece of uh, plastic here, O matter for a little bit more wind protection and coverage. Works with a tremendous wide range of prescriptions. Lots of prism options available. And I just love that it's a little bit more lifestyle-y looking. It's a little bit more, I'm one of those button up shirt. On, I like wearing Hawaiian shirts on the mountain bike. And that's like, really, uh, that's yeah. the new trend these yeah, days yeah, on the yeah, mountain yeah. bike. If you're you know? slow, you yeah. gotta look good. You, know? you, you, you don't have to worry about least. it. Yeah. You're so fast, nobody sees you. I gotta, I'm hanging out for a while. This is, this is cash, you yeah, know, this yeah. is this is race day, yeah, right? Yeah. So, so yeah. this is kind of like cash look, but unbelievable function. Absolutely. So uh, I've been testing it for a couple months, love it. All right, we're gonna move on to 100% local San Diego company, shout out. Um, this is the new, tremendously rad. You fell in love with these the other I, day I, when we I were did. testing. Yes. That's the S3 and it's just, it's just, just that coverage is absolutely incredible. Coverage is incredible. Wow. Aesthetics wow. are incredible. Yep. Um, with the hyper lens, you're getting amazing contrast. Mm -hmm. Not RXable, sorry. 
Rob, um, but just such a cool frame. It had to go out here. Uh, it, it just it just look, looks, it's such a statement. Just a killer frame. I love it. And the uh, originator of that collection is the uh, uh, Speedcraft. This is just still, still just mobbing the yeah. Speedcraft, man. Yeah. It's just hard, hard. Very, very goggle-like. Right, you know? just, yeah. just really hard to beat the Speedcraft. So much coverage, such a look, so rad, so many fun colors. I would recommend the Hyper lenses. It's worth a little bit extra money, I, I think so. Um, and then if you want that 100% look and feel and aesthetic, but you need an RX, the Speed Coupe is RXable and uh, still a really great pair of glasses. It has the dual lenses, a lot of venting, really lightweight, a little venting even in the frame. It's, it's pretty rad. Why don't you try so These might be pretty good for my face. Huh? Yeah, I think what they probably think? fit you pretty oh, yeah. well. Yeah. I think I've got yeah. a better fit on that than both of those. Yeah, yeah, yeah. those are really yeah. good glasses. I think that one's maybe a little underrated one from 100%, but Very that nice. one's great. Okay, there's a couple from Smith I'm loving. First, the Tempo Max, mainly because it's gold. Um, <laughs> <laughs> but actually, in it's reality, so it's uh, super RXable, um, dual lens, really, really comfortable. Loving some of the colorways, like literally that matte kind of gray cement with the gold. Yeah, it's, it's beautiful. It's kind of cool. Um, it also comes in a regular tempo without as big of a lens. So there's the tempo max with the bigger lens, and then the tempo slightly smaller lens, same frame chassis. Um, really RXable, like I said. Love that frame, put those on. I think for mountain biking, you'd really want the max lens though. You probably would, yeah, you, know? you probably yeah. would. Yeah, more coverage, you, you the better. You need it to come down for yeah. Yeah, more absolutely. coverage, the better. No, and you great. can get chroma Chromapop lenses in prescription or non-prescription, and chroma Chromapop has that awesome boost and that awesome contrast. I would just kind of go with the lower, the lighter colored chroma Chromapop lenses for mountain biking. But okay, the Attack Max magnetic interchangeable system, super lightweight, no frame. No frame. <laughs> no obstruction. No frame. This thing is super popular. I see this on the trail mm -hmm. all the time. And you, you do get a darker and a lighter lens in the box. What I really like about this one is actually the adjustable nose piece yes. in here too. Yes. You know, very crucial, for, especially for that way somebody like Rob could wear it, somebody like me could wear it, right? I'm gonna just pop this down. Yeah. Either open it up or pop it down. But yeah, great fit, you know. Yeah, yeah. great frame. No Absolutely. obstruction, a lot of coverage. Uh, if you want to RX that one, there's like a little insert that goes behind the, the whole mechanism. Okay, why don't we move on to really good bang for the buck as far as price. We got this Nike Rabbit. Technically, it's the Rabbit 2, but it just says Rabbit on it. Um, not any real rubberized grip, but if you get the matte color, which I would suggest, they just stay. They just stick on. They're, they're really nice for that. We got to test this one in a pretty serious rock garden. And those things, yeah. those things don't move around too much at all. You know, and they're, they're kind of understated, but you can't deny they have a great fit. Yeah, no, they're you just know? clean, they stay on your smooth, face and just easy. Real, real if, simple. If you don't want anything you know? too- Lightweight. Too. Yeah. Very lightweight. I like that one. Yeah. Okay. And then we got the Rudy Project Ride-On. The Ride-On's been out for, I think, about 180 years, maybe not quite that long. Uh, it's still wow. the best-selling Rudy Project. <laughs> it's been around forever, literally, I think, like 12 years. Um, it's as old as my truck. Um, that thing, I just buy new bikes, <laughs> same truck, new bikes. <laughs> you got your priorities <laughs> yeah, straight, yeah, my yeah, friend. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> I'm, more, I'm more into pinky rings. Uh, anyways, <laughs> this one's really cool because it's hyper, hyper adjustable. So you can adjust it this way, you can adjust it this way, um, you can do almost any kind of nose bridge on earth mm -hmm. you can think about. I have a really wide nose, narrow nose, a broad nose, Asian fit nose, like so many different uh, movements you can make with the nose. And then um, because of that dual lens, they're interchangeable. You can get different lens colors for different conditions. Just a really clean, sturdy, solid pair of glasses. I had a guy bring in a pair of these once that um, accidentally got ran over by a truck and survived. Whoa. Yeah, they were scratched up, they were beat, but they survived. Like this frame, I wouldn't recommend okay, doing that. Yeah. The frames were okay, yeah. Huh. Um, really, really durable. Not super inexpensive, but really, sure. really high quality frames from Rudy Project. And then another one, if you're going a, a little bit more bang for the buck, is Tafosi. Tafosi really emphasizes on quality and value. They're not the most marketing company. They don't sponsor the fastest, raddest dudes in the world. They just make serious glasses. So um, a lot of rubber where you need it, a slightly adjustable nose piece, mm -hmm. a lot of, lot of grip on this thicker temple. This is called the uh, Synapse. There's a bunch of other Tifosis too you might want to consider if this is kind of more your price range. And this one is RXable. Um, that red is kind of rad. These might look a little better on me, huh? Yeah, they're a little small for my, yeah, big, my big, big head. Yeah. 
Okay, that was a lot of pairs of glasses. These are our favorite glasses for mountain biking for 2019. If you have any questions on any of them, or if you have a pair and want to talk about it, put it down in the comment section. If you found this video helpful, we would love a thumbs up. Again, please subscribe to our channel. Also, if you're in the San Diego area and you're looking for someone to take you on the trails and show you around, or you're trying to go from intermediate to expert rider and need a, a coach or a trainer, Stefan is an amazing guy. Uh, his website is, what is it? Zenbiketours.com. Yes. And also check out my Instagram, just Zenbike. Yeah, yeah. And, and he's just all around a good dude. All right, yeah. later.